Hi guys, good morning. So it is Tuesday, the day after Labor Day, and I just wanted to start a weekly vlog for you guys. So this morning it is 7, almost 7.30, so I'm running a tad bit late. I mean, I'm not late or anything by any means. I'm just later than normal. Usually I get here at 7 and I'm not here at 7. I'm here at 7.30, but that's okay because I had to make breakfast and like do all that stuff. So, <clears throat> as you can see behind me, my room is like empty. Uh, I uh, came in yesterday and um, rearranged, reorganized uh, the room because I have 12 less students now which I'm really excited about and it might be bad that I'm excited about it but I really really am because these kids are gonna get such a better education so anyway I'm just checking my email and then I am going to go ahead and start printing my things for the week um, I have everything planned out for the week and have to go make some copies we're gonna be working on summarizing using text evidence in a summary um, referring to details in a text when answering a comprehension question I feel like this is really important to do in the beginning of the school year because you set that expectation for what you want them to do um, every time they're answering a text dependent question so we're gonna be working on that this week. Since it's a short week, we're not really gonna be doing like any specific story. Um, I am going to start because of Winn-Dixie probably next week, so I need to get that request put into my librarian. I have this little bucket here next to my desk, my computer desk where I do all my work. And it just has like some Stadler pens and some note cards. Um, and this is where I just keep track of like my to-do list in the morning. That way I don't have to like get up but the desk over there, my teacher desk, is really not even used by me. It's used by students um, who <clears throat> who've earned it. So most of my stuff is done over here. That's why I have like all of my teacher resources here um, because I sit here and do my work here. That way, that desk is reserved for students who've done a good job. Uh, so. Along with citing text evidence, this is going to be for reading, we're also going to be do starting our first opinion writing piece. And I found this one on Teachers Pay Teachers, and it's this social media for kids, woe or no. And I really like having a topic that the kids can have some input in, and I think that this topic is going to be really, really good for them. Um, I had another one from last year, but unfortunately, Jennifer her student teacher, Rachel, used it. And so her kids, I have at least, I wanna say like 12 of her kids from last year. So at least half of them would already know what to do. So I picked this one. I like it because it is grade level, um, but it also goes back to third grade. So I can give the third grade passage to my lower level readers. Um, so it's kind of differentiated, which is really nice. So I'm going to start off with just printing off these articles. So we have our big walkthrough uh, next week. Um, our school board is walking through our school and they will be looking at um, classrooms, they'll be looking at bulletin boards, just looking to see that we're following our guidelines. Um, uh, and part of that is having a standard-based bulletin board. And so I want to use this writing example for the bulletin board. And so I would like to have it finished and graded by, let's see, the 11th is next Monday. So I would like to have that done before, um, like the whole writing assignment done by this weekend. So it's gonna be probably put in place of like language and grammar. So I'm probably only gonna be doing social studies, math, writing, and reading this week, which is fine. So yeah, I'm gonna go and pick up my copies and then I will catch up with you guys in a minute. 
Hey guys, so I'm out at bus duty and I bring an umbrella because the sun's really bright. I'm standing in a shady spot right now, but usually it's really bright. <laughs> 3 buses have already come and I only have to wait for 4 more and then I can go inside. I actually really like this duty because once all the buses come, I'm done. And I'm usually done like 15 minutes before the bell rings so I get a little extra, extra time. Here's our beautiful habitat. see it because there's a wall but that's okay so yeah All right guys, so I just dropped the kids off at PE and we are going to be transitioning into math when we return. So I'm just getting my math stuff all situated. I've got my Eureka exit tickets done. I've got, let's see, writing. We did start writing, but we did not get to finish it. So I'm just gonna put that there. And our fire marshal's here walking around, so that's exciting. Uh, not really. Um, but they're checking our classrooms to make sure that we've conformed by to the uh, requirements or whatever. Um, and they just came in and like, she like looked around and then she left. I'm like, okay, bye. <laughs> like that was nothing. Um, so yeah, I'm just pulling up my math lesson for today which is lesson 11 here and I'm just gonna go through it and make sure that everything in it is what I want to be in it and not like random stuff that I don't want to be in it but the kids are at PE and they've left their binders here because they're gonna be returning to this place when they get back for math and yeah so I'm just getting prepped I'm probably gonna eat a snack because I'm starving. I had like half a cup of cereal this morning for breakfast, which is not enough food. Good morning, guys. It is Wednesday and I'm on my way to work. I love having, okay, so I think my new plan is to curl my hair every like Sunday night or even Monday morning and then just wear my hair like this the rest of the week because this is like overnight slept in and all I have to do is throw a little dry shampoo through it and some hairspray and then I'm good to go. So I think that's a good plan. Also, I'm wearing my lip scents this morning. This is First Love and uh, I like it. I really want to get like a berry color for the fall. I think that'd be really nice uh, wintery time because I am going to be on maternity leave through November, December, January, and part of February. I think it would be really cool to like get some nice like fall, winter makeup because I'm going to be home. So I'm, I don't know. I feel like even though I'm going to have a newborn baby, like I want to take advantage of this time that I have off and really milk it. And, uh, Getting to be like, I don't know, like a stay at home mom for three months is gonna be really fun and I, I wanna like get some cute makeup and like make myself look pretty every day and like take my baby for walks around the square and his little stroller and like dress him up and really just go to town. So I've got about seven weeks left until, you know, things start to change maybe less who knows maybe more who knows hopefully we can stick it keep them in there for 38 weeks that's my goal keep them in there 38 weeks and then we're safe also you may notice that I've been wearing this little ring 
Uh, my wedding ring doesn't fit my finger anymore. It fits, but I can't get it on and off very easily. And I really, really want to, like, I take it off to put my lotion on my belly. And because I don't want to get lotion all up in the crevices of my ring. And then I can't get it off and I can't get it back on. So I found this one at Target. It came with, like, a, like a real wedding ring kind of looking ring, too. But I don't like wearing that just because it looks fake. But this one doesn't look bad from far away. It just looks like a band. So that's why I'm wearing that. And it is really big, so it will swell with me. <laughs> um, I am starting to get a little swollen in my feet at the end of the day. But that's no big deal. <clears throat> and I'm really tired. Last night I fell asleep on the couch. Oh, okay. At like 8 o'clock. And then moved to the bed around 10. And just passed out. So... I'm definitely more tired than normal. That's okay. So yesterday, I didn't finish out the day with you guys. <coughs> but yesterday was magical. Like, teaching 24 kids was so much easier and so much more, like, fluid than teaching 38. And as much as it pains me to say, I am so glad that we were able to find another teacher and you know get these kids you know 12 kids into her class because not only is it easier on me but it's better for them they get a better education that way they get more one-on-one -on -one attention I felt like yesterday I really only had like two or three kids that needed my help instead of like 15 uh, and it was really really nice to be able to actually sit down and help them and not have to be like, oh, we'll just hold on. Like, I need now I need to go over here, or now I need to go over there. Like, I didn't feel stretched so thin yesterday. Uh, and it was a lot quieter. It was a lot more organized. There was no, like, having to, like, squeeze by somebody, or it was just magical. So I'm really, really pleased with how everything worked out with the other teacher. And I did get to see all those kids in the morning and I gave them big hugs and I said stay positive and they all seemed to have a great day so that's good yay uh, for breakfast this morning I'm eating I want to say I want to say drinking but I'm not drinking it because it's not really that liquefied unless I like let it sit for a bit but I'm drinking a chocolate protein and strawberry smoothie and uh, for lunch, I have a whole bunch of snacks. My mom uh, went to Costco last night and bought a whole bunch of food. So that's really nice because I've been struggling with food. Like trying to get something healthy to take for lunch that I can make really fast is really difficult. So she made some uh, homemade pad thai noodles with some broccoli last night. And so I'm taking that for lunch today and a lot of other snacks. Anyway, I'm going to stop blabbing and I'm going to get to work. Good morning, guys. So it is 7.30 and I just got to work. And it's Thursday. And I am exhausted. <laughs> uh, and it's really cold in here. So I'm glad I have my school sweater. A um, couple things I need to do. Yesterday I left really quickly. My goodness, why can't I get this jacket on? <sighs> there we go. A couple things I need to do this morning. I need to clean off my table um, because yesterday I did not clean it off after school. We had a staff meeting and I kind of raced out of here really quickly. So I just kind of left it all where it was. So I gotta do that and then I need to print my materials for reading because I don't have anything printed for that. Everything else is printed and ready to go. But um, reading is, is simple. Um, it's just strategies for answering questions and things like that. So nothing too, too uh, annoying. I need to run some things to the office and yeah, so tonight I'm going to Jennifer's house. Um, on Thursday nights, my husband leaves for the valley 
and he goes to work. Um, and then on Fridays, I drive down to be with him. And uh, um, so Thursday nights, I usually stay at Jennifer's. We'd have like a sleepover um, and just hang out because uh, otherwise I'm by myself. So why not, right? So yeah, that's what's going on. I think we're gonna do like a barbecue kind of like she's got a fire pit she wants to try out and so she invited both of us over to do that before he leaves so I think we're gonna actually go to the house and pack some more because our house isn't empty it's not moved out of yet uh, we have until the 27th to move out um, and we have a storage unit so we are gonna go over there and just move some more things or pack some more things up and then we'll go to Jennifer's house for dinner before Scott leaves for work. And then Friday night, I will, after school, I'll go home to my mom's, um, just relax for a couple hours, pack my stuff, and then I usually don't leave for the valley until like 6 or 6.30, just so that I don't have to deal with any traffic down there, just because it is kind of like a pain in the butt. Um, with traffic so I try to avoid that and yeah next week I need to plan some 5c activities I really need to incorporate those more and in a better fashion we have a field trip next Friday so I need to prepare for that and yeah so that's kind of the week um, I know you guys wanted to see like uh, more vlogging. Uh, there's really not a whole lot of exciting things going on <laughs> in my world uh, other than, you know, my class size being smaller, which is magical. It just is magical. I'm not wearing makeup today. Um, some rude person said that I'm ugly without makeup. Obviously, <laughs> that's why people wear makeup. Just kidding. I don't think that I'm ugly without it. I, obviously don't think I'm as pretty without it, but I definitely don't think I'm ugly without it. So thanks for that comment. And, um, yeah. So I'm gonna get to work and, uh, catch up with you guys later. Jennifer texted 5,849 times in January. <gasps> <laughs> Happy Friday! Friday. <laughs> Jennifer and I are having breakfast as we do every Friday. This is our new tradition: pumpkin spice lattes week. and breakfast burritos. They're so good, and we're matching, so good. of Corners. course. Even when we're not trying to match, we match. We have the same hairstyle every day. <sighs> True story, bro. True story. Hi, Tim. Even though it's not getting me, it's getting my breakfast burrito. <laughs> I'm just gonna put it over here. Yeah, don't have anything prepped for today. <clears throat> Classic teacher fail. And neither of us have anything prepped for today. But we don't care. Okay. We know what we're doing. I know what I'm doing. I'm doing Array City. Um, I'm gonna teach them how to log into reading counts. Mm, that's a good idea. And do a reading counts quiz. Mm -hmm. um, then we go to specials and then we come back and then it centers. And I'm doing ketchup and pickles. Mm. And I don't want to do ketchup and pickles. I want them to just sit down quietly. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. then I'm doing reader theater for those that have finished. I need to get that from you. Yeah. I, well, my, I got them on Lakeshore. Oh, so I you need can to get just that. make copies of I the, can find something on TPT. Yeah. My kids love it. They're good at it. Yeah. I need to do reader theater. <laughs>